I'm James and today we're going to be doing a poetry workshop together and I'm going to be talking a little bit about nursery rhymes. Do you know any nursery rhymes? I remember reading lots of them when I was little. I can even remember some today like lavender's blue dilly dilly lavender's green when I am king dilly dilly you shall be queen. That's one of my favourites and I also remember one about the King of Spain's daughter and a nut tree. Do you know that one? I had a little nut tree, nothing would it bear, but a silver nutmeg and a golden pear. The King of Spain's daughter came to visit me, all for the sake of my little nut tree. I skipped over water, I danced over sea, and all the birds in the air couldn't catch me. So now I'm going to tell you a story based on a nursery rhyme. And this is another nursery rhyme I remember from when I was little. It's called Starlight, Star Bright. It goes like this. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. What would you wish for if you could wish for anything? Hmm. Let's see what happens in the story. It's called Starlight, Sailor. Written by me, James Mayhew, and illustrated by Jackie Morris. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. I wish I had a little boat, far away I drift and float. Where the great blue whales leap, and pirate ships lie sunken deep. I sail towards another land where children wait on golden sand. Over here, the children say, we hope you want to come and play. We build a castle high as high with flags that flutter in the sky and let the sea fill up the moat then play upon my little boat. Up above a bluebird sings, while we pretend we're knights and kings. Being very strong and brave, we go exploring in the cave. We meet a dragon, red and gold, who tells us magic tales of old, then stretches both her wings out wide and takes us on a nighttime ride. We fly across the starlit sky until it's time to say goodbye. Then she brings us down to land, gently on the golden sand. Now the children fall asleep. The dragon curls up at their feet. I climb aboard my boat once more and drift out slowly from the shore. Starfish swimming in the sea, mermaids singing just for me. I listen to their lullaby while flying fish dance in the sky. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I follow you across the night, through my dreams, till morning light. So that's the story of Starlight Sailor and the story all grew just from that nursery rhyme. Some nursery rhymes are very very short and when I read them I always think I wonder what's going to happen next. So now we're going to use another nursery rhyme and I'm sure it's one you will have heard, a very famous nursery rhyme and we're going to have a play with it. We're going to see if we can imagine what might happen next. Hey diddle diddle the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. A little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. I really like this one because it's completely bonkers. What does it really mean? Can a cow jump over the moon? And what's a cat doing playing a fiddle? Do you even know what a fiddle is? I think we need some pictures to help us. Come on. 
So let's hear that nursery rhyme again, but with some pictures. So hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. I'm going to start with the ears. Cat's eyes, of course, and the nose. Under the chin is the fiddle. It's a funny shape, it goes a bit like this. And the cat is holding the, the fiddle with her paws and also this thing called a bow because you need a bow to be able to play a fiddle. So a fiddle is a musical instrument, it's a violin. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Hmm, I don't think I've ever drawn a cow jumping over a moon before. Let's see. So I'm going to start with the cow's head here. Some nice ears and a, and a nice nose and the eye. And there's the back of the cow and the tail. Legs, of course, big fat tummy. And we need a moon. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed. Hmm. I wonder what kind of dog it would be. I think it should be a sausage dog. I've always liked sausage dogs. Let's have a sausage dog down here laughing. Um, I think he's laughing so much. He's lying on his back with his legs in the air. Laughing and laughing and laughing. There's his little paws. And his fat tummy. And some more little paws. And his tail wagging. Um, if I do the eye like this, it will make him look happy, like he's laughing. He should have a nice little collar on. There we are. There's a sausage dog having a good laugh. So let's start from the beginning. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Well, I don't know about you, but my dishes and spoons don't run away, they stay in the cupboard. So this must be a very special dish and spoon. I wonder what they would look like. Well, I think they would have faces, of course. And if they're running away, I think they need legs. Maybe arms as well. Let's see how that looks. There's a dish with a face, some little legs, some arms. Now, here's a spoon. Also some little legs and some arms. There they are. They're holding hands and they're running away together. So let's read the whole thing now. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. That rhyme's even been set to music. I'm not very good at singing, but I'll have a go. And while I'm singing it, Perhaps you can learn to sing along, and I'll put some colour on the picture. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with a spoon. Do you think you can sing that? Have a go. Let's start again. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with a spoon. Once more, see if you can remember the tune and the words. 
Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Have you ever heard a fiddle being played and a dog laughing? I've got a friend who plays the violin, he's called Alex, and sometimes when he plays the violin, his dog, who's called Huckle, joins in. Have a little look. Pretty crazy, hey? So that's a fiddle, a violin, and I don't think the dog was exactly laughing. I think that was called howling. So back to the nursery rhyme, hey diddle diddle. What do you think might happen next? What happens at the end of the nursery rhyme? What's the last thing that happens in that rhyme? That's right, the dish ran away with the spoon. Where do you think they ran away to? If you could run away somewhere, where would you go? All the exciting places in the world. Well, we're going to have some fun now. We're going to learn how to make our own dishes and spoons. To do this, you're going to need a paper plate like this. And if you can find one, a nice big wooden spoon like this is wonderful. But if not, you can also get cheap packs of small wooden spoons like these ones. And they'll do just as well. If you can't find either of these, then you can cut a spoon shape out of a piece of cardboard. It's a very easy shape to make. So once you've got a dish and a spoon, you can start having some fun. I'll show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some paint on the spoon so that you can put a face on it. This is quite an old spoon and the wood is, is very dark and a bit ruined. So if I put some paint on first, it will make the, making the face much easier. Then I'm going to leave that to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to work on the face on the plate. I'm going to be using um, paint and a little bit of ink. So I think the plate is going to be a girl, so I'm going to give the girl some hair down here, be the colour of the hair. eyes will be about here, the nose comes from the eyebrows down here. some lips. And some rosy cheeks. And I'm going to add a few more details. While that's drying, I'll work on the spoon. So I think the spoon will be a boy. And 
and I'm going to draw a um, nose like that and some eyes. And I'm going to give my spoon a moustache and a little mouth there and some hair at the top. Very, very simple. If you've got some ribbon, you could tie it around the neck, like a scarf. And of course you can decorate the handle if you want to, with different colours. Piece of cardboard, cut out some little legs like this. I'm just going to um, cut them out, snip, snip, snip. And now I'm going to stick them on with some sticky tape. So there, now you see I have a dish and a spoon. Yay, yay! Where should we run away to? I don't know, let's go to London. <gasps> There's London Bridge. Rhymes with bridge. Hmm. Fridge. That's the only thing I can think of. Where next? I know. Paris in France. Oh, look at that. It's the Eiffel Tower. What rhymes with tower? Hmm. Flower. Shower. Oh no, it's going to rain. Quick, off we go again. Ooh, this looks like Russia and Moscow. And look at those roofs covered in gold. What rhymes with gold? Hmm, I know. Cold and old rhymes with gold. But I want to go somewhere that rhymes with spoon. Okay, hold on tight. <coughs> wow! Moon rhymes with spoon. We're on the moon! That's so cool! Yes, but it's very cool. It's very cold. And it's a long way from home. I think I want to go home. Come on then, off we go. Here we are, all the way back home, in Ankara. It was fun to run away, but it's always nice to be back home. Well, I hope you had fun finding out about nursery rhymes for your poetry workshop, especially the funny old dish and the spoon. Now, it's competition time. I want you to make a dish and a spoon like this and the best ones will win prizes. After you've made them perhaps you can imagine where they might like to go. Perhaps you can even write a story about them or a poem. I wonder if you can think of words that rhyme with dish or spoon or the place they run away to. Have a go, see what you can think of, see how clever you can be. It's time for me to go so Goodbye to all my wonderful friends in Ankara. I hope to come back one day and see you all again. Until then, it's goodbye from the dish, goodbye from the spoon, and goodbye from me. Bye. <laughs>